Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions from folks who are growing dahlias from seed, asking if they can actually save the tubers off of the ones that they love. So if you've been growing out dahlias from seed, you will find a lot of them that you don't love, but then there might be one or two or maybe more than that that you absolutely love and that you want to save. So the way that we save the ones we want is we're going to dig up the tubers. So this is one that I particularly love. I love like the double layer of petals and the little fringes. This is going to be one that I want to save, but there are quite a few in here that I don't want to save, so I'm not going to keep but I wanted to show you the difference between um, a first year seedling, which is one of these, and then ones that we have growing out in the field that are older. But just let's take a little tour of these. So these are all Florette's daughters. These all came from a variety called Florette that I bred a few years ago. And so many of her daughters that came from seed from her are just so beautiful. They have such interesting shapes and forms. I feel like I love every single one of them. Like, look at this wild one. She's got like twizzles in between the petals. Can you even handle that? Like, they're so, so beautiful. Okay, so let's find one that I don't like so I can show you. Okay, so I planted, we sowed the seeds for these in probably mid-March. Then we planted them out in the garden after all of our frost had passed, so about mid-May. Then they grew as little green plants. We spaced them very close together, but they grew and grew. And then they started flowering, I would say in early August. And then they've been just blooming their brains out until now. And so we have a frost coming any day, um, but they have just been giving it their all. And everywhere I've got a bamboo stake is a variety that I want to keep. So while they don't make a huge clump of tubers, let's find one I don't, that I don't want to keep. Okay. They're not going to make a huge clump, but you're going to be surprised by what they do make. Okay. So I want to find at the top of that. Okay. Let's go for this one. Get the weeds out of the way. Now I'm going to cut it back so it's easy to get at. I'm going to get my pitchfork and I want to start working far out on the outside and wiggle it. Now normally I do not dig dahlias until it has frosted, but I just, I thought it would be cool to show you an example right now. So let's do it. Okay. So I'm really, really careful. Look how stinking cute this is. So dahlia seedlings make these little tiny miniature clumps of tubers and you can see they definitely have formed tubers, but they're not the size of a clump that you would expect when you grow a dahlia from a tuber. So the, this is called a first year seedling and this is usually what you're going to get. So I figure I get a minimum of one, to one tuber, sometimes I get up to three, but this is what you can expect. So why don't we take this out to the back field, I'll show you some that have been growing out there for multiple seasons and we can compare the difference. Okay, so all of the dahlias out here in this patch are from my breeding program and they all originally started out as seedlings either a year or maybe more ago. So they've been growing on the farm for longer. So originally I discovered one seedling, I fell in love with it, I dug up my little tiny measly clump like this. Then I divided it if it was even possible. Some of them I only was able to replant this. Some of them I got two, maybe three tubers, grew those out. And then if I loved them again, then I divided, dug those in the fall, divided them and planted them again until I had whole rows of things. But I wanted to show you the difference between, that's our little first year seedling. And then this guy is in probably its second or third year. So let's just cut back the stalks and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, it's not necessarily gonna have a giant clump. Like some varieties produce huge clumps or huge tubers and others don't. So it kind of depends. So don't be disappointed if this one isn't like the most gigantic, amazing thing you've ever seen. Okay, so we always wanna get our pitchfork or our shovel away from the clump of tubers so that we don't accidentally slice through it. So I always like to start kind of working my way, start far out loosen the soil and then I can go in a little closer and I like to use a pitchfork because the soil will fall away through the tines um, it just makes it easier to get them out okay so I'm being really really gentle we want to be careful to not yank these guys and of course again I normally do this after a frost but I just wanted to show you what this looks like okay so this guy made a nice little clump of tubers it's not huge it's not huge, but let's compare that to our first year seedling. Okay, so this would be year one, 
and this would be more like year two or maybe three. So doesn't this look more like the dahlias that you're used to? Like they're just bigger, they're chunkier. It just looks like a dahlia tuber. And these guys, they just don't quite resemble the same thing, but just know that this is going to grow into this eventually. You just have to have a little patience.